Welcome to teachmeios.com, where you will find tips, tricks, tools, and tutorials for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate an app that I use every day called Launch Center Pro. This is an app I highly recommend. The app is simple to use and is designed to help you spend less time doing everyday tasks on your iPhone by creating shortcuts. I'm going to launch it now so you can get a look at the app. As soon as I launch the app, you'll notice that it's organized by tiles. All these shortcuts are customizable for whatever shortcuts you would like to include. To edit or add a shortcut, just tap on the pencil in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to delete an action and then re-add it so that you can see how simple it is to add. So just tap on the pencil, then tap on the plus where you have a blank tile. You can either create a group which creates a folder that you can have multiple actions within or you can just create an action. I'm just going to create an action for now. As soon as it loads you'll see all of the different apps that you have available with the shortcuts listed for them. If you see an app that has a little arrow by it that means there are specific actions within that app that you can create a shortcut to. I'm going to go back down to Instagram and select a specific action within the Instagram app. Instead of just launching Instagram, I want to actually go directly to the camera where I can take a photo or add a photo that's already in my camera roll. So I tap on camera and then it adds it right to my home screen there of shortcuts and then I'll hit done. Now when I'm ready to go and use the Instagram camera, I just tap on the app, it opens it up, takes me directly to the camera, and I'm set to go. You can also do things like dialing a contact, searching and dialing a contact. I'll tap on that now, and I'll just type in, I've got a fictitious uh, contact in my uh, contact list that I will pull up. His name is Joe Smith, second on the list there. You see mobile is listed, I just tap on mobile, and it will take me directly to the phone app and dial Joe Smith's number. Pretty handy. Google Prompt is also another feature that I use all the time. It's essentially a spot where you can type in a Google search and then hit go and it will launch Safari and automatically search for that query. So I'm going to just type in teach me iOS kids mode. I want to look for an article on how to turn on kids mode on your iPhone iPad or iPod Touch. So I'll tap go. It automatically opens up Safari, takes me directly to that search. I tap on the article and I'm ready to go. There's also a feature where you can set up a shortcut to an email where you open up an email and the specific email address that you've specified is already pre-entered for you so you can just type the email. In the bottom left hand corner you will see the star and the title apps. That's a group that I've created with multiple apps within it that I want to keep handy access to for launching. So if I tap on that you can see all the different apps that I have within that. You can create shortcuts for text messaging, for emails. Uh, I'll delete one of these again so you, can, so you can get an idea of some of the different options that are available within the, the shortcuts list. So again, like I mentioned, brightness is there. You can set brightness to a certain amount. You can toggle it between 10% and 100%. That's helpful if you're looking to save battery life. You can turn down the brightness instantly. Uh, flashlight is a handy thing. I use that all the time. Uh, within mail, you can create a new email message, send an email to a specific content, contact, or 
you can actually create an email with body and subject already pre-entered. This is great if you're sending out form emails to people. Uh, within messages, you can send a message to a specific contact or just create a new message. Uh, within phone, you can create speed dials, speed dial a number, dial with keypad. Within Safari, you can actually do all kinds of different searches. Search the Kindle store, you see that at the bottom there. Google search, that's the Google prompt that I used. Uh, in Twitter, you can tweet or you can tweet with the clipboard. So if you've copied something, it'll automatically pull what you copied from the clipboard and paste it into a, a tweet ready to go for you. And then it just basically adds whatever apps you have installed in, on your device. And so you can select any of these apps. Another handy one is, is called Timer. And you can actually set specific timers and specify uh, 10 minutes, for example. Hit Done, and then you can see there, it's got the timer ready to go. You just tap on it, it will set the timer at 10 minutes for you and start it. Pretty simple. So that's Launch Center Pro. Again, I highly recommend this app. It streamlines a lot of the tedious tasks that I do day to day with on my iPhone and creates a way to get specifically to actions within an app by just a couple quick taps.